Alrighty guys, it is Quad Man here today and welcome to another episode of my Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough and on the most previous episode, I got my great Saiyan Man suit from Bulma so it is time for us to continue the adventure and fight some crime in Hercule City so let's get the hell out of here. Alright, or get the HFIL out of here as the Funimation dub likes to say. <laughs> Alright. All right, let's see. Now, this was always one of uh, my favorite filler episodes of like the entire Dragon Ball series. I kind of like that whole little slice of life thing where Gohan pretty much wanted to be like a superhero and use his powers for good. I always felt that was like a good little concept that Dragon Ball added. All right, let's see here. Stick him up. Take my purse, just don't hurt me. That woman is getting mugged. I better do something. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Stop, criminal! Who are you? I am the guardian of the city. I am the one and only Great Saiyaman! Great Saiyaman? Yes, the Great Saiyaman! <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, your name or your outfit. With those antennas on your head, do you think the Titans game, do you get the Titans game on that thing? Hey, stop laughing. I put a lot of thought into this, I mean. You won't be laughing when I put you in jail, evildoer. Oh, well, at least he got the first hit on me. <laughs> All right, we got to level 56. Now, what the hell do we do from here on out? All right. So, this is literally like... A super bad day in Satan City. Could you imagine, like, if it was actually this bad, but just like criminals just walking the street like this? I mean, would you even want to live there? Like, that's the thing I never understood about like these superhero places. Like, you know, obviously it's fictional, but like places like you know New York or Metropolis or all these places that are you know protected by superheroes. It's like, who the hell would want to live in Gotham and all these cities that are always being attacked? Like, I wouldn't want to live there. I would have moved the hell out. <laughs> all right, let's see here. I didn't even know what I messaged him. I just punched him and walked through. <laughs> Did you hear about the new superhero? They said this is some different fighter from the gold fighter. Yeah, I heard. They say he's kind of funny looking, but he's super strong. His name is the Great Soy Man or something like that. <laughs> Say a man, he's called the Great Say a man. Well, excuse me, how do you know that anyway? Um, someone I know saw him and they told me. Fidel here, go ahead. The Red Shark Gang has kidnapped the mayor. Stay calm, I'm on my way. All right. May I be excused, Professor? Thanks. <laughs> so she just walks out. All right. So let's go kick some ass. <clears throat> She's going all by herself? Of course. I mean, she is the daughter of Hercule, you know. She's always going out and fighting criminals. But that's not safe. There's no reason to worry, Gohan. Fidel can even live more than I can. She's been training for her whole life, and some say she's even as strong as her father now, which is not saying fucking much. I'm more worried than as she's as weak as her father. <laughs> I love that. Gohan's word, she's almost as weak as her father. Hey, come back! Wow, he must have really needed to use the bathroom. Alright, help Videl defeat the Red Shark Gang and save the mayor. Alrighty. So, let's, uh, do some superhero saving here i remember reading something that the game developers actually wanted to make like the great saiyan man transformation and actual transformation in the game all right here we go all right clowns listen up good you get hercule out here or i'm gonna pop the mayor you got that why do you want hercule because i want to fight him he'll wipe the floor with you you really do know how to push my buttons, don't you? I want to prove to everyone that Hercule is a fraud. He's a wimp. And when you all found out that your big hero is a weakling, I'll be the hero. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Hercule's daughter, Videl, I asked for your father. What kind of hero would send his little girl to fight for him? 
Listen, my father didn't just send me here. I'm just here to clean up the trash. Here we go. Oh, Super Saiyan time. All right, let's see. Oh, well, that sucks. I can't be Super Saiyan and Great Saiyan Man at the same time. <laughs> Who the heck are you? I am the guardian of the city. The one and only Great Saiyan Man. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. Huh? What a weirdo. Is this the guy they've been talking about? What is this? I ask for Hercule and I get a little princess and some guy with a bucket on his head? Men, take care of these punks. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, uh, crap. Alright, um, let's use some energy attacks. Oh, uh, alright. Let's just blast this guy. There we go. Level 58. Gohan has 9 stat points. Oh, crap. Alright. Crap. Alright, so I got that taken care of. Who are you? I am... Say a man! No, I mean, who are you really under that helmet? Uh, I, I gotta go. See you later, Videl. <laughs> and how does he know my name? And who is this guy? Say a man, I'm going to find out who you really are. All right. Musuka. That's right, folks. The circus is in town. Step right up, folks. Come see the baby pterodactyl that's winning the hearts of the people everywhere. Come see Rocco, the most adorable spectacle on earth. Rocco? That pterodactyl isn't named Rocco. I know him. His name is Chobi. I bet his parents are wondering where he is. Aw, how cute! He's adorable! Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm a bit concerned about the well-being of that dinosaur. That's great. Now buzz off. Look, I know you kidnapped that little guy. L let him go. You've got to be kidding me. It's an animal. It's not kidnapping. But maybe you're right. Maybe all the circus owners are guilty of kidnapping. <laughs> it's not funny. That dinosaur has a mother and a father. You can't just take him like this. Please, that's just a bunch of sentimental rubbish. Where do you think circuses get their animals from? Alright, well I guess I got some business to do. That sounds like a job for Sayamed! <laughs> I wonder how corny you guys think this, uh, this is so far. Alright, now this is a straight Falconer song if you guys can hear the little music in the background. I think this is like the Falconer, mus the, the Falconer Circus track. If I remember correctly. They use a lot of like actual like straight up dub music in here. Alright. Now we got some points. I think I take too much damage. So my endurance definitely has to go up. And let me also increase strength and power. Okay. Oh, messed up there. 25. 30. Okay, there we go. So I got my stats upgraded a bit more. Now I don't get beaten up as easily. Uh. <laughs> I like how I'm just fighting them as Gohan. It's like the transformation's not even used here. Alright, let's go. Super Saiyan time. Okay, crap. Uh, there we go. Man, the thing about playing this game early is you level up so friggin' fast. Like, you literally, like, level up so much that it's, like, almost ridiculous. Alright, now strength is up to 25. I've learned that on this game, endurance is super important, though. Alright, let's see. Let's beat this guy up here. That's, like, the trick to fighting these, like, power hitters. They're so slow. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man, the thing I do notice about this uh, Boost Fury game, as opposed to the other uh, Legacy of Goku 2 game, is they don't have, um, they don't have, like, a melee uh, special. That's not that important, but it does help, like, juggling your opponents a bit more. Alright, no portrait data. Chobi is a dinosaur who was friends with Gohan's family. I guess that's all they could say. 
All right, so let's just take this here. All right, I hope this is the right thing to do. What am I thinking? Of course it is. Chobi has the right to be with his parents just like any other kid. Oh no, speaking of Chobi's parents, they're going to be boiling mad. If they come to the city looking for him, we could have a real disaster on our hands. <laughs> All right. I have, to little, I have to nerf my voice a little bit more to try to do um, adult or, I guess you could say, older teenage Gohan as opposed to teen Gohan. Because it's more of that, uh, that uh, narrator-esque voice from Dragon Ball. Alright, so let's move down here. We've gotten a good amount of training out of this. Let's see if I can get the amulet. All right, now, what should I increase here? I got three more points. Let's put one in endurance and two in strength. Okay, that's good. All right, get him out of there. All right, Musaka Circus. All right, um, stop that man. Um, can I scan his power? Oh shit, he brought a fucking tank! This guy ain't kidding! Let me fucking read this shit. Tank. Battle tanks are fully armored in 2 inch plates of Geromantium. These tanks are armed with a 120mm cannon. Alright, so I guess this is some work for uh, the great Saiyan man. Just blast this tank. I like how this guy actually has like a fucking tank. This shit is crazy. Oh shit. Oh crap. Crap. Alright, um, I think I need some uh rice balls here. <laughs> crap. Alright, there we go. Level 62. Got that out of there. I always found it so funny on this game how literally leveling up like brings all your health back. If I remember correctly, I don't think that was on Legacy of Goku 1. Alright, so, where the hell do I go now? Oh, shit! They got the whole fucking city with tanks! <laughs> ah, crap. The Masenko Ha in this game is terrible, though. Like, as opposed to the last game where, like, you can kind of, like, just plan, like, the hit. Like, on this game, it's just, like, a range that it goes through. It's kind of, it's, it's lost its effectiveness. Like, it's probably the worst, like, special move to use on the game. Why the heck is this moving so slow? Alright, um... That was weird. Alright, so we got to uh, level 63. Crap. Alright, got all those guys out the way. Alright, kick some ass over there. Now where the fuck is this guy that I gotta go talk to? Um, is he down here? Let's see. Alright, there we go. Well, well, look who it is. It didn't take very long for you to show your true colors, did it, Mr. Saiyan Man? You should be ashamed. It's not what it seems. You're going to have to believe me, Miss Fidel. If I don't return this guy to his rightful home, the people of the city are going to be in grave danger. And that's the truth. What do you know about the truth? You're a common thief. Now give that dinosaur back or else. I'll have to take him by force, Mr. Saiyan Man. If we don't return that baby to its father and mother, they're going to come looking for him and it's not going to be pretty. You have to believe me. I know that I'm a law-abiding citizen, but this is a special case, I swear. Oh, so you obey the law when it's convenient, and when you want to break it, you call it a special case, and you call yourself a hero. You know, to be honest, I've wanted to kick your butt ever since I met you. Squawk! What's he doing? He's calling his parents. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. My gosh, they're huge. They're Chobi's parents. Go home, Chobi. You're safe now. All right, so I guess he just got out. Wow, Gohan, I'm so sorry I doubted you. Oh, it's no problem, Videl. I don't blame you at all. Ha! I got you. You're Gohan. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, it all makes sense now. Arisa told me that Gohan left the classroom right after I left to go fight the Red Shark Gang and never came back. And then you showed up. I can't believe I finally figured it out. 
I think I'm gonna hold a press conference even though there's this fat guy over here and this fat old lady over here who are hearing our conversation with no fucking clue about what the hell's going on. <laughs> no, please don't. You know the only reason I keep my identity secret is to protect my family's privacy. It's for them, please, Videl. Is that true? Yes, it is. Is there any way you can keep my secret between us? Maybe, but there's something you have to do for me. I want you to enter the World Martial Arts Tournament and then I'll keep it a secret. Me compete in the tournament? That's right. I'm going to be competing myself, but winning won't mean anything to me unless I know all the greatest fighters are participating. My dad was the last champion and I heard that before him some Goku guy was the champion. I did a little research on the Goku guy and he had a son named Gohan. You're his son, aren't you? Uh, no. I knew it. You're a terrible liar, Gohan. You are Goku's son. This is great. The former champ's daughter is going to fight the former champ's son. <laughs> yeah, great. It's settled. See you later then. What a bitch, man. <laughs> Great, now what am I going to do? If I tell Mama Mem during the tournament, she's going to kill me, even though she's probably going to want it because she wants the fucking money. All right. So, I think that's going to do enough for one episode. I am going to continue recording this as part two, so you guys just finished watching part one. Stay tuned for part two, which will be uploaded exactly an hour after you watch part one. And obviously, if time has passed, it's probably already going to be uploaded anyway. So... Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for part two of my double upload today.